Hey guys, Money Man 300 back for some more videos here, and this time uh, starting a new little series up here. Gonna call it Talking Tech. And this is where I'm just gonna go over different uh, technology areas. Um, a lot of it's probably gonna result, revolve around gaming or, or computers or you know IT type specific things in general. And uh, so you know maybe one a month or one every couple of weeks. Uh, you know whenever I have a topic that comes up or something I want to talk about technology wise. So um, to start off with, I'm gonna be doing a two part series here. That's gonna be uh, how I record videos. I get a question every once in a while and say, hey, what, you know, what equipment do you use? What software do you use? All those kinds of things to record. So I'm going to kick this off two parts. First one's going to be talking through the hardware that I use to get this done. And the second one is going to be the software. So I'm going to turn you guys around. We're going to take a look at the hardware that I use to uh, do the setups. And here we go. Let's uh, bang. We'll jump you there for a second. Okay. Anyway, uh, you guys probably seen my setup before once or twice. Oh, I got the space heater going. I'm going to turn this off real quick. There we go. A little noisy. Um, anyway, so good standard setup, uh, pretty typical. You're going to want, uh, you know, your computer, your Xbox, all that thing all close by so that you can do uh, these types of setups and things like that. So um, first off, you got your source uh, system, which in my case is the Xbox One, could be Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, you know, whatever that is. I'm not going to be talking about recording from the PC. This is really going to be a console-based gaming recording. So you've got that. Um, obviously, you've got to have a microphone. Got your monitors, your PC, all those things. So let's talk about how uh, we get the video and what actually does the magic and does the capturing here. And let's look, we're gonna have to pull things apart just a little bit here and look back here. So what I use, the capture device that I use is the, um, that's upside down, isn't it? Flip that around there so y'all can see it. There we go, uh, the Elgato Game Capture HD. Um, this allows me, this takes the video from the Xbox and sends it to your PC essentially. Splits it off, sends it to your monitor, sends it to your PC, and allows you to be able to capture it. This is a great device. Uh, I've been using it for quite a while now, um, a little over, probably a year and a half, two years, uh, whatever it is. But um, I've tried one or two others, and this one to me is the easiest, the best quality. And there's other high quality ones, and maybe there's been some new ones come out since then, but I've had nothing but great luck with this. The software works well, the hardware works well, never had any issues with it. Just it just works and it's very intuitive and very easy to use. So if you're just getting started in that, I you know, I highly recommend the the Elgato. It's pretty it's probably the most popular one and what most people use to do their captures. Um, I really like it a lot. Um, let's talk a little bit about how that how that hooks up. So what we got over here is our uh, knock my video camera off or my uh, webcam. Um, we have our HDMI right here and you can it looks like you can do a is that S video in potentially. It looks like S video. It says AVN and I think that's an S video connection. I don't know that you're probably going to use that for anything anything recent. But anyway, you have your HDMI in. This comes in from the Xbox. So you go from your Xbox, your HDMI to your HDMI in on this. And then you have your out ports here. You have your HDMI out, which is going to go to your, your TV, your monitor. In my case, I, I use a monitor for the gaming. And then your USB, which that's going to t give you a USB connection into uh, your PC. So that's how you're going to get the video to your PC. Splits it off, goes to your monitor and to your PC. Um, back here, just a USB hub there. Nothing, uh, nothing big there. I also have, you know, if I keep moving over... This is uh, for my headset. I use a, some Turtle Beach X41 headset. Really not particularly relevant to this. It's just uh, you know a piece of a game uh, that I use for that. I, I, at some point, probably going to upgrade to some Astros. Just haven't uh, wanted to take the, the expense to do that yet. Anyway, um, so we've got that part of it there. Um, let's go down here and let's talk a little bit about the microphone. So you're going to want to have... It's nice to have a decent microphone. There's different ways you can do it. It's also possible to use your headset to do the recording. Now, in order to do that, you're going to have to have some, some sort of mixer to get your uh, audio from your, uh, you know, from your headset to the PC, because right now it goes to the Xbox 360. Astro A40s, A50s come with a mix amp that actually allow you to split your audio out into two places. It'll go through your Xbox and your PC, so that's one reason you might do that, and you see a lot of people record that way. I use a, a Yeti blue uh, uh yeti pro or yeti a blue yeti pro Jeez, struggling to talk there for a second a blue yeti uh pro microphone uh, it's a pretty good microphone um you know a higher quality home home setup maybe not 
a studio quality, although it, it, it can get close to that. There's a lot of different things that it can do. You know, I got all kinds of different functions and gain. I got a gain control and different ways that it can do it. I'll probably do something separate just on the microphone and how that works in a little mini review of that. But anyway, uh, the Blue Snowball is also another very popular one, but you're going to want to have something. Um, previous to that, I had a different... Oh, my dog is barking. Uh, previous to that, I had a different setup, um, but... It uh, it just wasn't a high enough quality, so I ended up taking uh, putting a little bit more money into it and getting a better microphone. So that's the microphone setup there. Um, that that plugs into the PC, by the way. So that that microphone goes into the PC and allows me to capture uh, my voice setup. Okay, so the next thing, let's uh, so we got that the microphone there. Uh, monitors. Talk a little bit about monitors. Uh, I use a gaming monitor um, or a, a PC monitor. Uh, you just get a little bit higher response time. I like the smaller screen. Um, I do have an Xbox One hooked up to my big screen as well for some more casual things, but this is convenient because you can sit at my desk and I can I can do uh, things there. I use an Asus. It's a 23-inch, uh, 2 millisecond uh, response time monitor. They make a 24-inch model also. Uh, Asus is pretty good. It's pretty common. That and BenQ for a higher-up model, um, but it gets pretty expensive once you get into some of those higher-end ones, but they got more features and functionality and those types of things on it. Um, but I do use a monitor for that. This is my uh, PC one, and speaking of BenQ, this one is a BenQ. It's an older, as you can tell, uh, being square is a little bit older out there, so it's um, uh, due for a replacement. You know, I'd like to get a second Asus in there, maybe the 24 inch model and kind of flip these around so that I have a little bit of consistency in, in what we have there. So that's the monitor. So we go down here, next thing we have is our PC. And this one is a, there's no brand or anything on it, it's just a, I got a Raid Max case, but it's just a, uh, it's home built, custom built, you know, I talked about that uh, before when I was having all the PC problems, built a new PC. This is a, it's an Intel based, it's a Core i5, a higher end Core i5 uh, processor in it, I have 16 gig of memory, I have uh, an, an ATI Radeon R2, what is it, R280X, I believe. Yeah, yeah, the R yeah, the, the R9 280X is the video card that I have there. So R9 280X, uh, three gig video card, pretty good, pretty high end video card, and that's all just for to help with rendering, to keep things moving along quickly. Um, also, I have a one, I think I have a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive in there, along with a 150 gigabyte SSD. So again, about speed, about those types of things. This might be a little bit overkill just to render video. It, it, you know, it makes a good gaming setup as well, even though I don't do a whole lot of PC gaming anymore. Um, but it, it's, it's a good setup and it allows me to uh, kind of capture everything I need. So, and not, not so much capture, but also rendering, which is really the important part in there uh, to get that going quickly. So that's pretty much the whole setup hardware. The next, uh, the next video we'll have, the next one I'll have, we'll talk about the software, show you all the different pieces of software that I use, and then actually walk through the process of creating and uploading a video. So we're going to end up with that. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.